students welcome to the class in today's class we'll discuss about anova okay in the previous class we have discussed experimental design okay now just we'll see the hierarchy of this anova basically you have studied the hypothesis okay what do you mean by hypothesis in that null hypothesis and alternate hypothesis two types okay, in null hypothesis it uh, hypothesis testing is there so in hypothesis testing we have statistical tests so that uh, statistical tests divided in two parts parametric tests and non parametric tests so in parametric tests z test t test f test and anova comes in non parametric tests we have chi square test u test and h test so now our aim is to study this anova so basically anova is what now anova is nothing but a statistical test which is a parametric so to study anova one must define null hypothesis means we use null hypothesis to uh, study this method so this method involves null hypothesis okay just now see the definition anova is analysis of variance in short or uh, we have abbreviated it as anova so it is similar to regression analysis which was developed by r a fisher so anova is a statistical method used to analyze the differences between the means of two or more groups or more treatments or samples you can say so it is often used to determine whether there are any statistically significant differences between the means of different groups okay characteristics of anova so one of the most important characteristic of anova is what it splits an observed aggregate variability found inside a data set into two parts what are those systematic factors and random factors the systematic factors are they have a influence on the given data set which type of influence they have statistical influence on the given data set why the random factors they don't have so next is anova is used in examination of the various comparative experiments it describes the true and complete characteristics of given population anova examines the variance of more than two groups of samples okay these are all characteristics of anova so in simple way i am going to explain by taking the mean now to study anova we need two uh, data sets what is that we need variability between the means and variability within the distribution or variability within the given samples okay so variability between the means what now observe here we have how many means here x1 bar x2 bar x bar and x3 bar okay variability between means what this red line it represents difference between x1 bar to x bar okay this is variability between the means okay now when you observe this x2 bar and x bar falls on same mean so so difference between these two means is what is almost zero okay now variability between this x bar to x3 bar is what this yellow line it represents the difference between these two x bar and x3 bar so variability between means what taking means difference between uh, means like this okay variability within the distribution means what this each component this component this one and this one and this everything that represents the same each individual sample okay so variability within this distribution so this line represents the variability within this yellow distribution and this line represents the variability within this particular distribution okay and this blue line represents the variability within this particular distribution okay so ratio of these two points that is variability between the means divided by variability within the distribution gives us an you know, understood so means now to study anova one must or oh, study the their differences between their means or comparison between the means group of means okay so 
Now, real life of applications of ANOVA. Okay, to, uh, while we are studying one topic, then one must know what are the applications of oh, this topic. Okay, now ANOVA in real life, in social science, it has application. Okay, in medical research, the ANOVA test can be uh, used to identify the relationship between various types or various type of brands of medicines, drugs, or to uh, cure the some of the diseases. Okay, we can use the ANOVA test to compare different suppliers and select the best available okay also in management also they are in organizations they can use this ANOVA to test the performance of the sales manager in working in different type of populations also they can come uh, make the decisions of the performance or the efficiency of the managers so in such uh, many case, uh, sectors uh, ANOVA has its applications okay So what are the basic principles of ANOVA? Uh, ANOVA works on two basic principles. Okay, what uh, it is to compare the differences in the different means of population by examining the amount of variations within the samples and amount of variation between the samples. Okay, means what? It works on based on the within sample variance and between the sample of variance. Okay, so that is called as the F test. So F test is what? F is equal to estimation of the population variance based on the sample variance divided by the estimation of the population variance based on the, within the sample variance. Okay. This value of F is to be compared to the F limit for given degrees of freedom. If the calculated value of the equation is more than the cal more than or equal to limit, then there exists a significant change between the sample means. Okay, so techniques of ANOVA. Techniques of ANOVA means uh, just in this, you can see ANOVA. It is it is two parts. We have one way ANOVA and two way ANOVA, and also MANOVA. So in one way ANOVA means what? It purely depends on only independent one independent variable. In two way ANOVA, two independent variables. And two or more than two, where for uh, more than two independent variables, we have ANOVA. Okay, but for you, you have only one way ANOVA and two way ANOVA. Now, the two techniques of ANOVA are variance which occurs due to one variable that I already I explained. That is, this uh, independent variable is only one. For example, you can study the impact of any one variable among seed or fertilizer on soil in amount of harvest of a crop. Variance which occurs due to the two variables. So two independent variables means what? Uh, it, here the impact of the changes or variation in two or more independent variables is studied depend, uh, in different conditions. Okay. For example, to study the impact of two independent variables, say season and effort of the salesman on the total sale of corresponding salesman. So likewise, okay. So in short, what is ANOVA? ANOVA is variability between the means divided by variability within the distribution, okay. So in the next class, I'm going to ex explain what are the steps for calculations for one-way ANOVA, okay. And then we'll solve example, okay. In the next class, I'm going to discuss one way and one and it's procedure to calculate one uh, use one way ANOVA to find the given uh, to find the solution for the examples in the next class i'm going to discuss one way ANOVA okay and we'll solve some examples on this okay till then keep practicing take care if you are not subscribed my channel do subscribe and support thank you